So in this lecture, we are going to discuss about axonometric projections, uh, in particular diametric projections. So we all know what are uh, trimetric projections. Uh, trimetric projections were the projections in which all the four shortening factors, fx, fy and fz were distinct. And this was covered in the previous lecture. So what is a diametric projection? So diametric projection is a projection in which two four shortening factors are equal. So here what we will assume is that uh, in this entire lecture we will assume that the two four shortening factors fx and fy will remain equal and fz will be the third four shortening factor which will be kept arbitrary so that can change. So in the entire lecture we will assume that fx is always equal to fy. So in this case, if you want a diametric projection, the question arises that what must be the angle phi? I hope you remember what is angle phi. Angle phi is the rotation of an object about y axis by angle phi. And what must be angle theta, which is rotation of an object about x axis by an angle theta so that the two foreshortening factors will become equals, right? So we want to find what phi and what theta should I choose so that these two foreshortening factors will become equal, right? So, so let us work on this now. Now, if I look at fx equal to fy, okay, uh, then I will do one thing. I will square both the sides. So when I take fx square is equal to fy square, now we know what is an expression for fx square. fx square is nothing but cos square phi plus sine square phi sine square theta is equal to fy square is cos square theta. These expressions for fx and fy were derived in the first lecture of axonometric projections, namely the trimetric projections lecture. So here I will convert uh, all the cos, wherever there is cos, I will convert it into sine. So when I look at this cos square phi, this is 1 minus sine square phi plus sine square phi sine square theta is equal to cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta. And this 1 and 1 will now cancel and therefore I will have minus sine square phi plus sine square phi cos square sine square theta is equal to minus sine square theta. So this means that if I take a sine square phi common, I will get sine square phi with a minus one plus sine square theta is equal to minus sine square theta, right? And therefore, I can get an expression of sine square phi. This expression will be very important. This is sine square theta upon 1 minus sine square theta. OK, so this expression is very important relation because the left hand side is related with phi. The right hand side is only related with theta. So this is the relation between phi and theta. So let me write it down relation between phi and theta in which type of projections in diametric projection. So if you have a diametric projection, the relation between phi and theta is established. OK, now look carefully at this particular relation. If you look at there, so let, let me take a simple case. What will happen if theta is equal to zero? If theta is equal to zero, the right hand side will be zero and therefore left hand side is also zero. This means sine square phi will be also equal to zero and eventually this will mean that phi is also equal to zero. So what is the use of this result? This result says that if the rotation about what was theta, theta was rotation about X axis. If the rotation of an object about X axis is zero, then the rotation about Y axis will also be equal to zero in which type of projections in diametric projections. So in diametric projections, if you know rotation about X axis, so if you say you know, the object object is rotated about about X axis by zero degrees, then you can 100% say that the object is also rotated by zero degrees about 
y axis means there is no rotation okay so in that case it is actually a trivial tra tra transformation so in particular let me take second thing now suppose i take uh, uh, if theta is equal to pi by 4 what will happen if the object is rotated by 45 degrees uh, about x axis and you know that it is which type of projection and you know that it is a diametric projection if it is diametric projection then i can surely say that sine square phi is equal to sine square theta means 1 by 2 because 1 by root 2 whole square upon 1 minus 1 by root 2 whole square which comes about out to be 1 so this means that in this case you can here surely say that the angle phi must be equal to plus minus 90 degrees okay so in the case of diametric projections if the rotation of an object about x axis is 45 degrees you can surely say that rotation of then of that object about y axis must be either plus 90 or minus 90 okay now suppose you are given so let me now give you a situation suppose fz is given to us okay so i'm giving you the foreshortening factor about z axis okay and um, and i tell you that the projection that i'm using is a diametric projection okay so two things are given to us that fz is given i'm giving you what is fz and i'm telling you that it is a diametric projection as soon as you know it is diametric you know that the two foreshortening factors have to be equal so my question is can we find theta and phi both okay can we find them so let us tackle this question it's very simple actually now what you know is that you know that sine square phi is equal to sine square theta upon 1 minus sine square theta what is the foreshortening factor fz given by in the in the first lecture of parametric projections we have derived the expression for fz it was sine square phi plus cos square phi sine square theta um, then i will again say that fz square is equal to sine square phi plus 1 minus sine square phi remember i always change the cosine into the sine so that my life becomes easy and therefore when i look at this particular expression here i will have sine square theta from where does this come this is from this part okay plus sine square phi and plus sorry minus sine square phi sine square theta and then i look here there is a sine square phi and a sine square phi so i have sine square theta plus sine square phi into 1 minus sine square theta but this is a diametric projection so sine square phi is how much sine square phi is sine square theta upon 1 minus sine square theta the earlier relation between phi and theta into 1 minus sine square theta and this gets cancelled therefore you get two times sine square theta okay who is this this is fz square okay and therefore this means that if i find sine square theta i will get fz square by 2 and therefore when i take the square roots i will get sine theta is equal to plus or minus fz upon root 2 and this means that theta is equal to sine inverse of plus minus fz upon square root 2 so you see this relation is uh, this is what we were looking up for that if i am given fz okay i know the formula to find theta what is the formula to find theta the formula is sine inverse plus minus fz upon root 2 okay so let me take one simple example suppose i give you the foreshortening factor fz is equal to 1 and i'm given that it is a diametric projection okay then what will be the value of theta what is theta theta is the rotation of an object about x axis okay and uh, 
not only that you can now also find phi though i have not taught you till this point so we know what is the value of theta if it's a diametric projection we have derived that expression it is equal to sine inverse of fz is 1 plus minus upon root 2 so this means that theta has to be nothing but plus minus pi by 4 okay once theta is pi by plus minus pi by 4 we know the formula for sine square phi is equal to sine square theta upon 1 minus sine square theta and this is nothing but therefore when i put theta equal to pi by 4 i'm going to get 1 by root 2 whole square which is 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 2 this means this is equal to 1 and this means that sine phi is going to be plus minus 1 and therefore phi has two values now phi is having values pi by 2 and minus pi by 2. So what we have understood from this exercise is that if fz is uh, 1, sorry, if fz is 1, okay, and we know that it's a diametric projection, how many such diametric projections will we get? We have observed that we have got two values of phi, namely pi by 2 and minus pi by 2. Uh, for those two values, we have got two values of theta also. So theta will be pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 okay sorry pi by 4 and minus pi by 4 so you can even take pairs of saying pi by 2 with a minus pi by 4 and minus pi by 2 and minus pi by 4 so you get so so given fz equal to 1 how many diametric projections could we find we could find four such diametric projections right for example if I if you just want to find the first the first of the diametric projection you all know that you can now form a matrix T and that matrix T which was that 4 by 4 matrix which involved what theta and phi okay so if you work out with the first case suppose I call this case 1 wherever there is phi put pi by 2 wherever there is theta put it how much pi by 4 so you will get one matrix okay that will be the first diametric projection with what with the foreshortening factor fz equal to 1 and other two foreshortening factors fx and fy which i have not yet calculated but they are will be always equal because it's a diametric projection similarly you can find the remaining three diametric projections with the same property okay so i hope you understand that given one a single value of fz and, and and that it is a diametric projection how many such diametric projections we can find we can find four diametric projections at the same point of time now let us move to our question saying that if if, if the foreshortening factor fz is given and you are given that it is a diametric projection can you find a relation between fz and phi directly okay so what is that relation now it is clear that so what is known to us we know that fz is equal to uh, fz square is actually equal to 2 sine square theta right so this is the, the this is the relation between fz and sine square theta. How this relation came? Let me. I'm sorry. Let me just write it again. What we know about uh, f so theta, we know that theta is sine inverse of plus minus fz upon root two. Correct. From this, I have got that fz is equal to fz square is equal to two sine square theta. Correct. And we know relation between phi and theta also. Sine square phi is sine square theta upon 1 minus cos sine square theta. Okay. And this means that sine square phi is equal to sine square theta is how much? It is fz square upon 2 divided by 1 minus fz square upon 2. And this comes to be fz square upon 2 minus fz square. 
and this means that sine phi will be equal to plus or minus fz upon root of 2 minus fz square eventually phi will be given by sine inverse of plus minus fz upon root of 2 minus fz square so this is what we were looking for if you fz is given to us we have found out a relation between phi and fz so let me write here relation between a direct relation between phi and fz without involving theta so this is that relation in which case of projections in the case of diametric projections do not forget this okay now let us take one uh, simple problem so let me write an exercise so find a diametric projection uh, if the foreshortening factor along the z axis is equal to half i hope now you know that how many such diametric projections are you going to get you're going to get four such different different direct di diametric projections so we will first find what is theta and phi what is the formula for theta theta is sine inverse of plus minus fz upon root 2 and when you substitute fz equal to 1 upon root 2 here if 1 upon 2 sorry is equal plus or minus root 2 and this will become sine inverse of this quantity will come up to be plus or minus 20.70 degrees okay this is theta okay this we are going to need what is phi equal to we just now derived the formula for phi phi is equal to sine inverse of plus minus fz upon root of 2 minus fz square and when I substitute fz equal to half here so this will mean sine inverse of half upon root of 2 minus 1 by 4 and when I calculate this this will come up to be 22.20 degrees okay so this will be the plus minus sign so now I have theta ready with me I have phi ready with me so I know I have four pairs okay so let me write the matrix for the first pair okay if theta is taken to be 20 degree 20.70 degrees and phi is taken to be 22.20 degrees okay how will the diametric projection matrix look like so we know that this cos phi sin theta sin phi this matrix that i'm writing is the general matrix for any axonometric projection right but now it will become automatically diametric projection because we have found out theta and phi since the matrix is a since the projection is of which type it's a diametric projection so this will be cos theta this is sin phi this will be minus cos phi sin theta and zero and zero here so when you evaluate the values of phi and theta okay the diametric projection matrix will look up to be now i am ready with the calculations here so i will write them down directly in your spare time you can check the values and this is 0 0.935 and this is 0 0.378 this is minus 0 0.327 and adults all entries are 0 x here it is a 1 all the other entries are equal to 0 okay so this is the first matrix of diametric projection where theta is positive and phi is also positive how much was theta theta was 20 degrees 0.70 and phi was 22.20 degrees similarly if you if you take phi positive and theta negative you will get here different entries because the signs will change that will be your next diametric projection and so on you will get all the four diametric projections okay now what we will do is at the um, uh, now we will take all these uh, four pairs of um, angles and we will see how the four projections of a, a, a cube whose corner is cut will look okay 
okay so now this is a cube with one corner uh, cut okay this is uh, now we are going to see all the four diametric projections uh, on this particular object okay now we have those four cases for uh, where the foreshortening factor was 1 upon 2 okay and theta and phi were found out which was where phi was 22 degrees and theta was 20 degrees so here i will take a rotation about uh, y axis which will be 22 degrees you can see that now and now i'm going to rotate about x axis by 20 degrees so you see i'm rotating it about x axis you can see the angle in the y z plane also and i'm increasing the angle to 20.7 degrees okay and now i will view it from the top side so i will view al al along the z axis so this is the way it will look from the z axis and i will i will make the x y axis uh, straighten up so you can see x axis is now going to right side y axis is going to upside so this is the first diametric projection okay now when we go for the second one for the second one if i take phi is equal to plus 22 degrees okay so let me take phi is 22 degrees and theta i'm going to take negative now theta i'm going to take minus 20 degrees not plus i'm going to go reverse way now so i want to take minus 20 degrees so this was positive i'm going minus now so when i do that this is minus 20 degrees yes and now i'm going to see it from the top side so along the z axis it will look like this and then i'm going to again uh, make the x y uh, i'm going to rotate and get the x axis to the right side y is going up so this is the second view the third is i'm going to take phi negative now i'm going to rotate it by minus 22 degrees along the y axis and along x axis i'm going to rotate by minus 20 degrees so it will look it will rotate uh, get rotated about x axis by minus 20 degrees and i will now look the top view of this again and view it from the top along the z axis it looks like this let me make the x, x and y axis again in this correct direction see x is right and y is up so this is the third the fourth is I'm going to take phi negative, which is uh, minus 22 degrees about the y axis. So I'm going minus 22 degrees. Then theta is a rotation about x axis by positive. So it is plus 20 degrees. I'm going to do that. And yes, and now I'm going to see it from the top view along the z axis. And again, I will make the x and y axis. Uh, coordinate them properly so this will be the top view let me just make x axis y axis in the correct positive directions yeah and now so this will be the yes and now they are correct and this will be the fourth view okay now let us solve a problem uh, which i am going to explain you first in figure so i have an object in three dimensional space okay so suppose it's something like this okay and i am going to apply diametric projection to that object uh, and when I'm doing the diametric projection, I observed that the original side of AB was 4 cm. And after projecting it on the Z equal to 0 plane, whatever image it has formed, okay, that Im the image of AB, which is A dash B dash, was observed to be 2 cm. Okay, so AB has length uh, 4 cm. After a diametric projection, I observed that the length a dash b dash is equal to how much 2 centimeter and it's along what this was observed along the z axis when I viewed it along the z axis okay so this is viewing along the z axis okay so then the question is that what must be the diametric projection matrix can you find the matrix of this diametric projection so it is very clear that here since we are viewing it along z axis and uh, the original length of the segment was say 4 centimeter and a dash b dash was 2 centimeter this means that the along z axis so the four shortening factor along the z axis is given by what a dash b dash upon a b length and which is nothing but 2 upon 4 so it is coming to be half so indirectly here fz is equal to how much half and therefore we know that once fz is given to you you can now find the value of theta 
you can now find the value of phi and we know from above problem the value of theta comes out to be how much it comes out to be plus minus 20 day point 70 degrees and phi comes out to be plus minus 22 point 20 degrees and therefore you are free to calculate the the matrix of diametric projection okay which i have written above and how many such projections you will get you will get four such diametric projections okay let us now move to one simple problem again so suppose i have an object in the three dimensional space okay Suppose it's something like this. It need not be necessarily a cube always. I'm just 10 for simplicity. I'm drawing it like a cube shape. There is some object uh, whose length is uh, with whose whose, uh, whose one of its edges uh, of three centimeters and I'm viewing it along the Z axis. So this will be the I'm talking about uh, the foreshortening factor FZ will be given to us and FX and FY are equal and I'm applying a diametric projection on this particular object okay now uh, what we want to do is i will give you half of the information of the diametric of projection what i will give you is that the rotation of the object when i did this uh, diametric projection the rotation about uh, x axis was how much it was 30 degrees okay this is what i'm giving to you now in that case can we find the following things okay so the this is the image of the uh, object in the xy plane so suppose this is the image and this is a dash b dash okay so this is the image right so this is on the plane what z equal to zero so what i'm interested in is in that can i find the length of a dash b dash now what is the length of a dash b dash in this particular case secondly Secondly, can I find what is the foreshortening factor along X and can I find what is the foreshortening factor along Y? Okay, this is a diametric projection and uh, what, what am I viewing it from? Viewed above from Z axis, okay? So it's very simple now. So what I will do is I will take I know that theta which is 30 degrees because it's a rotation about X axis. OK, and what is the formula for sine square t sine theta for uh, the diametric projection it is equal to plus minus FZ upon root 2. Right. And therefore, what is theta? Theta is given to be how much? Theta is given to be 30 degrees. I'm sorry, there's a plus sine square theta is equal to right sorry this is correct okay so this will this will mean that sine 30 degrees is equal to fz plus minus upon root 2 and when i simplify this i will get fz is equal to how much plus minus root i'll just evaluate the value sine 30 is half 1 by root 2 again so this will give me the foreshortening factor about the z axis but we know that foreshortening factor is never negative so because foreshortening factor always lies between what it lies between 0 to 1 so it will be just plus half it won't be minus half right but what is the meaning of foreshortening factor you know that foreshortening factor fz is the length of a dash b dash upon length of a b and I have the foreshortening factor in with me now. It is how much 1 upon root 2. And this is length of A dash B dash divided by how much was the length of original AB in the given question. It was 3 units. And therefore, I could determine the length A dash B dash. It comes up to be how much? 3 by root 2. Okay. Which comes out to be approximately uh, 2.12. Okay. It's not a big deal. Right now so we have found out the first part that we were looking up for now what is uh, what is the second foreshortening factor and the first foreshortening factor this is also our question clearly theta is given to us theta is how much theta is 30 degrees and what we know about fy the second foreshortening factor is always what it has formula cos theta so this means that the second foreshortening factor is cos 30 which is root 3 by which is root 2 by 2 
and therefore the first foreshortening factor is always equal to the second foreshortening factor because it is which type of projection it's a diametric projection that is also equal to root 3 by 2 so i suppose that now the all the questions asked in the things have been answered so this with this we finish the section of diametric projections in the next lecture we will discuss isometric projections and in the same lecture we will also compare trimetric diametric and isometric projections all three projections will be compared in the lecture of isometric projections